R&B legend Mary J. Blige made real estate news more than once last year while trying to unload her properties. She put her opulent mega mansion in New Jersey up for sale at nearly half the price she paid and another contemporary house she owned as well. After her costly and very public divorce from former husband manager Kendu Isaacs, who Mary's called a con artist, she allegedly had over a million dollars in unpaid taxes to figure out. Despite having a hard time selling her main mansion, the queen of hip hop soul reportedly still lives in quite an impressive home. Today we'll take a look, we even found some of the listings. Mary Jane Blige aka Mary J Blige is a singer, songwriter, actress and philanthropist who began her career in 1991 when she signed to Uptown Records. She went on to release 13 studio albums, 8 of which achieved multi-platinum worldwide sales. Not to mention she's won a whopping 9 Grammy Awards, multiple other music awards and 3 Golden Globe nominations including one for her supporting role in the film Mudbound and another for its original song Mighty River. Considering she also received a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress and Best Original Song for this film, she was the first person nominating for acting and songwriting in the same year ever. Billboard ranked Mary as the most successful female R&B hip hop artist of the past 25 years, so when we call her a legend we truly mean it. Her transition to the small and silver screens was also deemed successful with supporting roles in plenty of films. Ms. Blige shows no signs of slowing down either and is going to be starring in this spin-off of the highly rated TV show Power and Power Book Ghost. It said Mary's current net worth is estimated at $20 million while other sources peg it at a negative $11 million or so. The singer is said to owe more than $1 million in back taxes and other bills she claims were racked up by her estranged husband Kendu, aka the rumored con artist. Despite the fact that she's put some of her real estate on the market, Mary still appears to be living the luxurious life her hard work and showbiz has earned her over the years. Hey guys, it's Kara and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're gonna take a look at R&B legend Mary J. Blige and some of her beautiful homes like her fancy spread in Saddle River, New Jersey and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell for notifications. We've also done house tours on the likes of Zoe Saldana and Halle Berry and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. According to listing materials, this property owned by Mary J is still on the market. Last year it was reported she wasn't done dealing with real estate drama and her initial decision to put this smaller contemporary home on the market came just after slashing the price of her bigger mansion. Records show Mary bought this house located in Crestkill, New Jersey back in 2001 for $1.9 million and then put it up for sale at $2.25 million. It said that the singer owes back taxes of about $1 million. If that's the case, I'm sure that's why she's trying to make some money on her real estate. Crestkill is a neighborhood in Bergen County, New Jersey and considered to be one of the best areas to live in the states. It has a dense suburban feel and there are tons of restaurants, coffee shops and parks. Built in 1990, Mary J's Crestkill home sits on an acre lot filled with lush lawns and towering trees. The roomy residence spans 7,000 square feet over three floors, offering six beds and 8.5 baths. Although the exterior may look unassuming, rest assured it's a big home. The cedar and stone clad contemporary house sits atop a black circular driveway with plenty of privacy and out back a large deck overlooks the pool with views of the surrounding woods. The home doesn't appear to be occupied at the moment and there are no photographs of the interior with listing materials. Considering that and the few images of the property available, it may suggest the house may need a little bit of TLC, perhaps a modern renovation or upgrade. The freeform pool also needs a refill as all we can see is an algae green puddle of water. Some appealing amenities at Mary J's Cresco house pointed out in the listing include three fireplaces, a home gym, a security system, guest quarters, and a master suite with two bathrooms. As with her other mansion that we'll check out in a sec, Blige may be willing to consider all reasonable offers to offload it and move on. I think she's just trying to get her financials in order so she can land a brand new home. Now let's look at Mary's place in Saddle River. It was reported back in 2019 she was having a tough time trying to sell the mega mansion, having to slash the price to 6.8 million, which is about half what she was asking when she first put it on the market. 
The influential diva had the mansion on the market in late 2015 for $13 million. Four years later, Obliges reduced her price by 48% in hopes of enticing a buyer. Ouch. So if you've ever wanted to live like the nine-time Grammy winner, now's your chance because I believe it's still up for sale. Mary scooped out this 4.2 acre spread back in 2008 for a whopping $12.3 million and just looking at the place, it's fit for royalty. Located in Saddle River, New Jersey, this is a prestigious suburban neighborhood full of posh homes as one might expect. The lawns on Mary J's property roll down towards a slender tree-lined waterway that gives Saddle River its name. Her main mansion, described as a country French manor, spans about 18,250 square feet inside with 8 beds and 10 full and 3 half baths. All of this is spread across 3 elevator serviced floors. Behind gates and hidden from the row by mature trees, the 25 room palace is fronted by a large motor court and entered through a double height entry designed to impress any guests. There are grand proportions, elaborate formal architecture, and white marble floors. Archways offer Corinthian columns and they lead you to spacious common rooms. All the sitting rooms and dining rooms here have fireplaces and two share a professional quality bar. Slightly more casual but still fancy family quarters include a paneled library slash office painted a deep red and a huge kitchen with double islands that opens to a light filled circular breakfast room and attached family room. In fact, the kitchen has everything you need to make a five star meal including a farmhouse sink, eight burner Viking range, two sub-zero refrigerators, and a walk-in pantry. Several ensuite and family bedrooms are joined on the upper level by Mary J's sprawling master suite. The master bedroom is a haven of relaxation, complete with a king-sized bed, private sitting area, wood-burning fireplace, and espresso machine for that as soon as you wake up cup of joe. Just off the bedroom is the master suite's private bathroom, detailed in marble. And in addition to a two-bedroom apartment for guests or staff, there's also a gigantic gigantic walkout basement with a games room, temperature controlled wine cellar and more. Work up a sweat in the private gym with sauna or hop over to the indoor basketball court to shoot some hoops. Later you can even stretch out in one of the home theaters, five reclining chairs or out back by the mansion's private swimming pool. There's even a pool house complete with a bathroom and full kitchen of its own. Not even considering upkeep expenses, improvement costs and real estate fees, it doesn't take a genius to calculate that Mary's staring down a huge multi-million dollar loss in the property. We'll just wish her luck with this one. Any home like that would be hard to part with. Unfortunately, we don't know much about where Mary J. Blige is planning to move to, but her Saddle River mansion will be hard to beat. After looking at her homes in New Jersey, including her Crestkill Contemporary and her opulent mega estate in Saddle River, what did you think? Go ahead and rate her homes in the comments down below. Or tell me what was your favorite room in that mansion. It's hard to choose, but I gotta say I love that enormous master suite. Imagine having all that space to unwind and call your own. Thanks for tuning in, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and let me know whose house tour is next. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!